All right, we just dropped in rod size a little bit so we can do some fill in some of these spots to get everything evened out. I well, gave it a go, slag drag. So we're done with the 7018. We're gonna knock it all down with this 3M fiber disc and then we're gonna stack it up. We're gonna put our buttering layer on with the 309. Just stacked up our 7018, right? So there's our 7018 down there. Our uh, angle's a little off still. That material is stacked up hard. However, mm. it's not as strong as our stainless. So our stainless is a good barrier between our parent material and then our hard facing. So we don't rip apart Correct. the buildup. Because that we if just we put just on. go full buildup 7018, if we stack that just like that, it would break off most likely and we'd have a spalling issue with our material. Stack some 309 right now, and then we're gonna follow up with some hard facing rod. How many layers you need, Bob? Just one? Just that one. Well, we got our, our stainless stacked. And now we're gonna lay a nice layer of this tubular post-alloy hard-facing rod. All right then, it's a long rod. I'm at the long rod, this one. I have to give it the long rod. second pass over this. Also, I, I hit a little snag right here and it kind of burned through, so it ate away some of my, uh, my base material. So we're, where all the sparks are flying, I'm still hitting the carbon, so we're still on the top of our parent material, but as soon as I get up over on top of this edge here, or even on the slightest edge of these two, our sparks start to leave because our rods, our hard-facing rods have a lot less carbon in them, or little to no carbon. 